Yes, my people, welcome. Welcome back. This is how it's going down today. I'm making some goat head. I was going to make some goat head soup, but I changed my mind. I'm just going to stew it. Goat head cook up like with curry. So the goat head is partially cooked. It's bubbling there. Just want to um, give you a little of the, the, some of the seasoning that we use. Use parsley. This is some of our um, all-purpose seasoning that we made. Blend it up. Red pepper. That's paprika. All-purpose seasoning. Garlic powder. Granulated garlic. Of course, um, jerk sauce. And remember, with the, with the jerk seasoning here, you have to be very careful because it's high in sodium and so you just use a little some um, fermenter seed and then we use some of our grace cock soup the seasoning paprika Yes, you could tell that this is a real ram goat, you know. One more thing I have to put in there. It's a little curry powder. Some of our all purpose seasoning that was blended up. A lot of stuff blended up there together ginger, dill, garlic, scallion, red onion, the white onion, tomato, all of that good stuff in there. Thyme. some some curry in there this is some of my Indian curry I think one of the best curry though is the um, the better pack I love the better better pack curry it's very good Now we're gonna um, we're gonna put some some onion and some sweet pepper. So here I'm putting some extra seasoning, a little piece of um, green bell pepper.
some red onion. Some extra seasoning in there. See the richness of the Indian curry? Very rich. So this is just simmering down now. Leave a little piece of the bone in there. This I'll, I'll take out because the meat, all of the meat fell off it, so. And of course, this is just for me because my wife don't eat goat, so. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm going to put some in the in the freezer so it stays fresh because this is too much for one one person there it is remember to like share subscribe and leave your comments Here, this is curry goat head, or as some people call it, goat head curry. Same thing, you just change the um, turn, turn the name around. This is it. So we catch you on the other side and show you what the um what the end result is. I'm gonna eat this like I said with some some rice and peas. Bungo peas, rice and peas, curry goat head, still delicious. Chef Mr. West and welcome back to the cooking channel. Yes, my people. We are ready now.
There we go. Oxtail curry or curry um, goat goat head curry or curry goat head. This is what it is. This is what it look like. The finished touch. It's just for one, like I said before, my wife don't eat the um, the goat head, so it's just for me. So this is how it's going down. There it is in the pot. Yes, my people, welcome back. We're here now giving God thanks. This is my um, my dinner. Just made some goat head curry, curry goat head with rice and peas, gungo peas, rice and peas. Let's bless the food. Lord, we thank you for your provision once again. Thank you for your goodness, your grace, your love and your mercies. Lord, we pray that you bless this food that be nourishing to our body, to my body. I just give you thanks for your provision and your protection. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. There it is. It doesn't get better than this. Slim. Curry goat head with the white rice, um, gumbo peas, rice and peas. And then to wash it down with some natural coconut water. Goat head is so tender. Just melt away in your mouth. Delicious, delicious, delicious. This is really kicking. See, I made the um, I made the goat cook the goat head with the bone, and then when it's cooked, you just tear and take it off, take the meat off the bone, and just throw the bones out. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, leave your comments. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you my people.